Uh, uh. I hear it. You bastard! No. I'm so tired of you. Pop the wall right and kill you, son of a bitch. Good. Bastard. I hate you. Good. <clears throat> oh, shit. Kill him. Yeah, rip us, rip him apart. Yeah. Yeah, good fucking riddance to you. You know what? The war rider's kind of my boy now. Why would you make me go that way? <laughs> it's telling me to go this way, but it's obvious I just ran from this way, so. Oh, oh no. Oh great. It's Vernicky. <laughs> Billy. He was mentioned in the beginning. Who's Billy? Nice and pretty. I'm sure all the bitches line up to fuck you. How do you explain the goddamn wall rider? It doesn't explain the ghost. Can I take one of these guns? <laughs> Billy's the wall rider. <laughs> right? Is that it? Well, find Billy in the mainland. Is Billy the wall rider? Who's Billy? Is he the one that's dreaming up the wall rider? What's going on? Somebody's... No, I refuse to accept that. Only wants to die. I, you let me in, I can take care of that for you. Just give me a hacksaw. Remember? Well, I guess the game is telling me to go left. <laughs> However, I'm always one to take the off beaten path. Especially if it means I may just find a battery. It's obvious. I'm still gonna need batteries eventually. These are some seriously nice showers. Except for the blood and guts. 
That's not supposed to be so cheap. Is that a picture? Oh no, it's just a, those would have been batteries. I think the batteries places are randomized. Markiplier said it too. It's certainly possible. I don't want to go to the morphogenic engine just yet. I'd like to find more batteries before I go. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Batteries, batteries! Battery song ain't cutting it anymore, huh? What's that? Is a box? Come on, man. Why do I have to die to stop Billy? I mean, why do I have to die? Why is my why is it my responsibility to fix your problem? You know, I don't agree with this. If I was this guy, I would have knocked on the window and I would have said, "Hey, Vernicky," he'd be like, "Fuck!" I would I go, "Fuck yourself! Let me out!" I don't give a shit if he spreads. Why do I hear growling like the big man's around? <coughs> I'm fucked. Why did I come in here? Huh! I don't even know what's chasing me. It is the big man. Isn't it? I can hear him sniffing around. Oh no, that's my guy. What the hell was just chasing me? I still don't know what's chasing me. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, better get my flashlight on and start running. Shit! Get up! Damn it! <clears throat> Alright, I'm hoping it's saved after talking that big long speech with the doctor. Okay, he did. That's good. Alright, let's just book it. <clears throat> Okay, I went the wrong way. Alright. <laughs> it reminds me of the clock tower chase music. Remember that? Hello, Wall Rider. Uh. I know doors stop me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> this is not gonna be easy. Alright, you guys, I got some good news. And I got some bad news. The good news is, this footage you're seeing, I was able to get it. The bad news is, this is post-commentary. Sorry. It just kind of happened. My computer froze after I closed out the game after beating it. That's right, this is the finale. Get hyped. So, after it, it's a little, runs a little long, but I don't want to break it up anymore, you know? Uh, but, yeah, my computer froze, and it kind of sucked. But fuck it, let's talk about the game. Blood. On the floor. The floor. The floor. Imagine if I actually talk, talk, talked like that. It's the Wall Rider. Run, baby, run! It's Billy! Run! Go! Get to the chopper! Yeah, this thing's creepy. It, it is pretty. It's kind of. It, the singing is what creeps me out about it. That humming it makes. That ah! I don't like that shit. That shit bothers me. But the Wall Rider itself, the Spectre, meh. When you get a closer look at him later, you'll get a closer look at him. He's, I do that again. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm like, yeah, let me go in the wrong space. And I'm gonna, uh, uh, uh. And thankfully, I was smart enough to do that. And then, uh, we're gonna go fuck up Billy. We're gonna kill him. But, 
first. I was so scared in this containment room. I was like, he's gonna come in. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Green gas. It's like a fart. It's a fat. So now we are safe from the wall rider for the moment. Got enough blood for you? Ooh, a book. Let's read. Nope to all personnel from Consulate Mega Man 8. Rudolf Wernicke, DBNR, do not worship the swarm nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology would be so far superior to us, the illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We are now blessed with sufficient power that belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Couldn't have said it any better myself, sir. The good news is I never jumped or anything. I never really got scared by this point in the game. I was too desensitized to all the shit that was going on. As a matter of fact, going back on it, I got more jump scares editing the video than playing them. There were the parts where it was supposed to be a jump scare, and in the video I'm just like, eh, I don't care. It's Billy's chamber, the assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor modules, molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy's the center of it, find him, kill him, end this. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me, Mr. Miles. Can't really go wrong with that now, can you? There's Billy in his pod. See, there are empty pods. And there's a blood-filled pod. From Billy's patient's report, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks at least 50 years of rough road. Pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Well, we're about to perform an act of kindness then, because Billy is going down. But, I didn't think about it while I was playing. Why are there more pods? What could it mean? It's bad. It's very bad, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that. Just remember the pods. Battery. I got a battery. Well, why don't I use it? Am I a fucking idiot? Urgh. I want you to battery. I just don't pick it up. The, the hamburger. Oh, look, I see. I see. You can explore that darkness. I just took the battery and left. Look at that guy. I wanna come in. I wanna come in there. I wanna play with you. Come on, man. La, 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 la. The Rorschach. The Rorschach's Journal, October 5th, 1985. Dog cock is in alley this morning. Tired to tread off my stomach. This city's afraid of me. I've seen its true face. The streets are extended gutters, and the gutters are full of blood. And when the trains finally scab over, hold on. Oh, no, I missed a part. I always miss a part with that. <laughs> There's something in between there. And then it goes all those politicians and all the whores and politicians will look up and say, save us, and I'll whisper no. Oh no! And when all that blood foams up around their waist, all the whores and politicians will look up and say, save us, I'll whisper no. I'm not exactly right, but I'm close. One day I will learn all of Rorschach's inner monologues. But until then, let's play more ten pay more attention to the fucking game, right? I like to spout off my movie quotes. Even in the game I did it, I was specifically looking at the Rorschach screen, making a Rorschach quote as I looked at it, and that's why I looked at it so long. Do not turn the valve. Why would anybody want to do that? Here he comes, his little whistles of hatred and anguish and agony. Ah, there's a little moth in my room. Grab the book. You know when it's appropriate time to read a book? While getting chased while the wall rider. I was like, fuck that, I want to read this book. God damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had like... <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. He's chasing me. Come on, get away. Billy! Get to the chopper! What are you doing? Run, fucker, run! You got it. Don't worry about it. You got it. That's the wrong way, dipshit. That's the right way. Oh, wait, is this the wrong way? No, this is where I went earlier, and I fucking ignored the guy. I'm, I'm on. Oh no, the doors are open now. Oh, I see. You can't. Even, you got to do it in this order. See, I didn't know that. Rewatching it now made me realize. Oh, you have to do it in an order. <laughs> I don't. I, I was like, uh huh. Mm, open it. Ha <laughs> ha. This is the endless staircase. 
seriously, I might as well have been taken into the heavens by the time I got to the top of this goddamn staircase. There's one point where I try to peek and see the roof. I'm like, why isn't it? Why? I thought I was like, I'm seeing things. I thought I was hallucinating at this book. I thought the character was hallucinating at this part, but he's not. <laughs> it's really just a long ass staircase. I could hear all the screams and stuff in the music now. I could pay so much more attention to it. And then I die. And then I die. Like a dick. I did it. I did it. I died. Oh, oh, that's right. I, you got a sweet ass checkpoint right there, though. I would hype when that happened, boy. I would hype. Oh, it's the wall rider. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just looking at him like I don't even care. Like, what's up, brah? What's up, brah? He's like, I'm the wall rider. I'm coming to get you. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. You fucking motherfucker! Come on, put the fart juice on me. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. <clears throat> we shut down the lungs. Now we gotta hit up that life support. And Billy's like, you better not fuck with my life support. Let's read that shit. Please find attached to permission for me form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psych. Yeah, charitable, my dick. Something about massive hospital in Colorado. Figures. The form is standard. No relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy's unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Vernicky, having read the boy's dream, reports believes he has a normal therapeutic potential. Give me that battery. This is all Billy's fault. He's a piece of shit. I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> My lack of fingers. Disable his failsafe. He's upset. He's like, what about my- I got- I got a plan B, bitch. <laughs> Billy has a plan B. Dude's a genius. Huh. I didn't even recognize that I- I forgot that- I didn't even go to the bottom of the stairs. I was- Huh. That's funny. That door just kinda opened. I'm surprised he's not chasing me again. There it is. Get off me, Billy. Get off me, you freaking Soul Reaver looking motherfucker. He beats the shit out of me now, yeah. I get fucked up now. Get up, Miles. You can do it, man. Get up. Just get the hell out of there. You see, and it's funny, because I died. And I couldn't survive that fall when I died, but he survived the fall after getting his ass beat by the fucking Spectre. Or the wall right, whatever you want. I call him just, just he's Billy. It's Billy. I gotta find that little computer. It's right there, but I fucking pass it. I decide to pick that up and read it instead. Cause that's smart, right? I'm like, uh no no no. Morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod blah 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 blah. Yeah, see this is where I find out that it's in that room. I was like, oh wait a minute, I'm not reading, I'm stupid. <laughs> I actually had to go back for a second. Watch you spy, blah blah blah. Yeah, this is the important part. <laughs> part three is the important part. Yeah, if you want to read all that, you can pause it, but seriously. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. And yet, I, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't need to go that way. The screaming's getting louder. I hate it. it. Even just listening to it bothers me. It bothers me more than when I was playing. It's why I'm getting the adrenaline rush while I'm playing, when I'm just sitting, relaxing talking about the game, so it's actually scarier this way. Hit the fucking keyboard, idiot. And he's dead. Die, you fucking bastard. <laughs> Not without one last ass-kicking. But look, Billy turned into a orb of blood. Just like the other orb of blood. Meaning, this isn't the first time it happened. <laughs> I wish I could learn how the ending works. We'll probably go to a forum or something. But it's always important to pay attention to the details. This poor bastard is getting his ass kicked. And to top it off, he sees some fucked up shit in his life. He survives. He gets up. We crawl out. I mean, it's fucked up, but we crawl the fuck out. Come on, man. Get up, Miles. Get your camera. It's all you got left. Get out. Yeah. That was always my plan. 
Come on, man. You could do it. Put the camera up and fall. Come on, Billy. Get up. It's over. I mean, not Billy. Come on, Miles. Get up, man. Get up. You could do it. You could do it. This ending was very, like... I liked this cinematic, immersive feel to the ending. Very sad and pathetic and... Just downright sad, yeah. He's just trying to get out of there. He, well, he's dying, man. His vision's getting fuzzy. That's the sign that you're going to die. Not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, and we slowly lumber about like an oaf. Like our buddy Chris Walker. Who never really walked. He ran a majority of the time. And now, if you're like me, you're about to get really pissed off. <laughs> and you're gonna see why. I don't like that there's still things whispering in my fucking ear. Get out of there, man. Come on, get up. LOL, J slash K. You're dead. <laughs> yep. They fucking kill him. The reason why they kill him. See what happened? They turned you into the fucking wall rider. And that's Outlast. I mean, I'm assuming they turned him into the wall rider. That's what it seems to be implying. It's obvious those SWAT guys were killed. So, yeah, and there's no post credit scenes or anything. So, I'm just gonna probably cut it here. I'll let the credits roll, but. If you want to look for maybe an Easter egg or something. But I'm done talking. So I'll just let the credits roll. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this. Um, if you liked it, let me know what you want me to play next. I I could get into these face cam horror things. I just need a better camera and a better microphone. This thing sucks. And again, I apologize for the post-ending commentary. I hate the post-commentary. See you next time.